staging your house during the holidays, how much is too much? Hi, I'm Kona Gallagher. I'm a realtor licensed in Virginia with Compass. I serve Loudoun County and the surrounding areas. Now let's talk about staging your home for the holidays. You don't need to hide the fact that it's Christmas just because you're selling your home, but here are a few tips. Number one, the Christmas tree. Keep it simple. This one is very classy and elegant, but still gives the room a little pop of color. This is actually an example from a real house that just went under contract in my neighborhood. You know, I don't know that I would have done the giant tree topper because it touches the ceiling, but other than that, it's simple. It acknowledges the season without being overwhelming. You may be surprised at how far a wreath can go on a door. It just makes people feel invited and welcomed into your home, which is how you want them to feel during the season. So something simple like this could be nice, or you can even go a little bit fancier you know, and do something like that. But the point is, is that nothing too crazy, nothing too gaudy, um, but just classic, elegant, simple. It really gives your home a great first impression to your potential buyers. Going back to this one, I would say you can add some greenery like you see down in the bottom left here. Um, again, keeping it simple. I would take down any religious artifacts. I would, you don't want to necessarily do nativity scenes or anything like that. A small one's fine, but maybe not, you know, the entire village situation. I'll be giving you more home staging tips, more home buying tips, more home selling. So follow for more.